Good, how are you doing? Um, I don't need no help. Yep. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You want to dance or you want to get out on top of your car and dance? Yeah, sure, why not? You're free to do whatever you want. Yep. You don't want to play on your phone no more? Oh, do you want to keep playing on yours? Yeah, I do. Okay. I love playing on my phone. Good. Is that because you're a regular gamer? A what? Is that because you're just a regular guy? I think everyone plays on their phone, right? Yeah. Right. Except except when they're at work, they... they... You don't play on your phone at work? No. A lot of people are irresponsible. What do you do at work? I do a lot of things. Like what? Uh... Don't really want to get into that. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> How do you like your job? I love my job. Do you? Yep, best decision I ever made. Okay. What were you doing before that? First job. First job, wow. Right out the box, huh? Mm -hmm. Cool. So are you like valet or what? Why? Parking authority? Well, you might be working for the nightclub on the side. I know cops do that. I know they let you guys do that. Is it your first time being on camera? Oh, no? Okay. Really? And what do they normally say? Most of them aren't as nice as you, honestly. Really? A lot of them, like, A lot of hostility, right? Yeah. The way I see it is, uh, if you haven't wronged me, then why should I be disrespectful to you, you know? But some have wronged me, but you're not one of them. <laughs> Right. So how do you like working for the Minnesota Police Department? Minneapolis? Yeah. I love it. I, love I always thought your uniforms are kind of outdated. Uh, I would have to agree with you there. I've been trying to get a new uniform for two years. Oh, like, uh, they're not just giving them out? Like, like usually when there's a whole new, uh, Uniform design, they just give them out, right? Right. I thought that was weird. Like, you guys seem well overdue for a new design. Like, every every police force has, like, you know, military-style tactical gear now. Some of it's kind of... Uh, Overboard though, right? Uh, depends on what kind of overboard is or what you're talking about. I mean, uh, police departments are being trained for like uh, marine marine stuff, and you know, uh, they're trying to be like uh, their own SWAT teams now. Well, we do have SWAT teams, yes. Right, but it's like your whole every police agency combined, right? Well, like. What? It's all separate. Well, where I'm from, they combine. Like, the counties will combine, and they'll initiate, like, a task force if there's, like, some big crime or something, you know? But, uh, I guess it's different everywhere you go. What, what club is this? Uh, this is called Lewis. Called what? Lewis. Lewis. It looks like uh, a pretty good place to go. This one or this one? This one, this one. Oh, this one. This one's called the Gold Room. The Gold Room? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you're doing like off-duty stuff today? Okay. It must pay well, huh? Good enough to be here. 
Well, cool. Well, uh, you know how much it costs to go inside? I don't think there's a cover. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think they only do covers on Friday and Saturday night. Okay. Looks like a place to go. Have fun. What? This? No. Well, let's know if it's my car. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, I haven't been here very long, but I haven't seen a lot of people filming cops, so, I mean. And they're more aggressive, right? Are they, like, swearing at you and stuff? <laughs> I hope he's not honking at you. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's like, uh, you know, the Mall of America, they, they shot it up, right? Yeah, there was a homicide there about a week and a half ago. Yeah, but, like, there's their own police force there, right? So they, they have people on site. They could have, like, prevented it, right? Yeah, but how often do you see them, um, like, standing guard? Like, let's just say, like, you had one on every floor. You had, like, four of them on every floor at every corner. You know, you don't know, you don't see that, right? I don't I don't know how, how much traveling you've done outside the country, but there's malls that would make that look like a, a tiny little, you know, speck on the wall. That's why it's called the Mall of America. Right. It's one of the biggest malls in America. Yeah, I don't know what's the biggest, what's the biggest now in America. Well, there's, well, yeah, probably Texas, yeah. Texas, everything's bigger and better, right? Yeah. You wouldn't believe it, Thailand's got malls bigger than that building. Like uh, McDonald's on the top, McDonald's on the bottom, freaking <laughs> Rolex, everything you want, you know? They got it. Whoa, what a black girls tonight. Yep. So, uh, not a lot of parking. Are you enforcing parking or are you enforcing uh, like other stuff? I'm here for security. Okay. And they don't want you inside? I do more, but I do more good out here. Okay. I heard that's uh, how the whole George Floyd thing went. He was uh, the officer was a security guard outside at a club. I have no idea. Okay. Never met him, huh? Wow. In all the years you were policing on the same force, you never met him? How many you got now? 500 something. Lost almost half. Not as bad as Seattle. Seattle's lost a lot more. Yeah, a lot of riots over there too. Oh man, they, they destroyed it. Yeah. They they burned that place down. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, pretty crazy. So, uh. Over there, you could make a uh, hundred thousand dollars starting a year as a Seattle police officer. Oh, you you got a million dollars for a house? Well, that's that's what it'll cost to live there. I don't care how far north or south you go, you need at least at least seven hundred and fifty grand, at least. And if you ain't got that, you ain't living in Washington State. <laughs> yeah, I am. Seattle. Yeah. Here? Here. I'm just visiting. Okay. Yeah, I'm not from here. I check it out. Are you, you guys? Downtown here? Huh? Are you staying downtown? I am. Yeah. Nice. Millennium Hotel. Okay. Yeah. You like that one? That's a pretty nice hotel. Not bad. <laughs> Fair prices. Oh, yeah, the one right over there, right? Okay. 
Okay, wow. How long is it now for? Probably another week or so. I hate tattoos. Yeah. It's a. Uh, They say you guys are real tyrannical, but I haven't seen it yet. Right. Right. You know, I don't know if you've ever been to Portland, but those cops over there, oh man. You, you say one wrong word to them and they'll chase you down. They'll chase you down. Four or five of them will chase you down. <laughs> All you gotta do is say the F word. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, you normally do like uh, security after at this place? Okay. Wow. Well, at least you guys got nice cars, huh? Ford's gonna stop making. Who's gonna take over? I don't know. I know Dodge makes a lot of them, Chevy makes some, but I also heard Chevy's gonna stop making them. Well, Ford's gonna lose a lot of money. I think they're gonna go electric, aren't they? I mean, these are half electric. They switch back and forth. Is it that gas? Is it that uh, propane? Uh, not propane. Oh. These ones, like right now, the engine kicks on just every 20 minutes or so. Yeah, Seattle, they, they run on propane. Like, I think it's a different kind of propane, but yeah. It's, I don't know. I wouldn't. Some some uh, agencies in Washington State, they have Teslas. Yeah, there's an agency. The rest of us, they have Teslas. Do they? Oh, wow. They a lot of, it's a agency, a Seems like there's more crime in Washington than I hear about here. Right. Right. It's too cold, though. I mean, Washington's cold, too, but we don't get this goddamn cold. I think this is colder in Chicago. Right. You guys get like the Arctic blizzard from Canada, yeah. you know? Yeah, I went to college way up north, like about an hour and a half south of Canada. Up there, we were For uh, criminal justice? Nope, I actually went to school for kinesiology. Don't they require like criminal justice and shit to be a cop or? In Minnesota, they do. They do? A lot of, lot of Arizona cops are bad, I heard. No, I, I wouldn't say that. I heard, very well trained. I heard Glendale, they're pretty bad. I, I have a lot of good friends on the Glendale Police Department. Oh. Uh, what about Tempe? I haven't dealt with them quite as much. Scottsdale? Yeah. Scottsdale Phoenix. Phoenix has a lot of cops. What do you think about Phoenix cops? They got some guys that uh, need to retire just like every other department. I would agree. I would agree. Yeah, I had a experience with the uh, Phoenix cops at the airport. Yeah, they they surrounded me and they were like questioning me and asked me what am I what am I doing here? I'm like I'm traveling, you know, like it was uh, pretty weird.
Yeah, and they're they're not from this that state because one of them has like a New York accent, so obviously. But you'd be amazed how uh, things can change when you have a camera, you know. So just saying, like, uh, so it can change the game, especially like if you have to go to court. Yeah, that's why we have a lot of agencies. A lot of agencies don't, though, right? Did uh, you guys recently have body cams or no? Minneapolis? Yeah, like before George Floyd or after? Oh, yeah, long before. Oh, okay. Long before. All right. What do you think about, like, uh, reckless driving? Like, uh, what would you think someone's uh, considered if they're reckless driving? Oh, it's going to slip. <laughs> Yeah. Usually there's a high rate of speed though, right? If you if you heard someone was driving 15 miles an hour and then they got convicted of reckless driving, you'd laugh, right? It's it's it doesn't make sense though, right? 15 miles an hour. I mean, if there's no witnesses, there's so there's no accident, there's no victim, there's no property damage. You passed a car that was going five miles an hour. You went around them, nobody was hurt, no one was, but the officer said there was people um, on the sidewalk, but you didn't go on the sidewalk, but there were people on the sidewalk. What's that? This happened to me in a right every 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 yeah every state's different but um the way the way the the statute reads is willful wanton disregard you know and there's that's it's it's left open to like interpret so if you want to say like he was going two miles an hour and he jerked the wheel and he could have killed he could have killed everyone now you're reckless and you know you just have to prove it to a jury you know yeah. it's it's crazy wouldn't have wouldn't have made it in any other state other than that state you know so but it's uh it was actually an arizona cop that transferred to washington state that did that to me oh, okay. yeah <laughs> so kind of have a a bad feeling for arizona cops so same well i mean when you get convicted of i mean if i was if i knew i was going to get convicted of reckless driving don't you think i'd just step on the gas and smash into that wall i'm just saying like you you want to get what you deserve right so if you're going to get reckless driving you should earn it right <laughs> But, uh, all right, well, what was your name? Yousef. Yousef. Yeah. Oh, so you're like Middle Eastern. I am. Thank you. Cool. Like the YouTuber. I don't know any YouTubers. You don't know any YouTubers. Come on, you don't know the only one Arabic YouTuber that's huge. Wow. You don't watch pranks, YouTube pranks? Okay. The, uh, the YouTuber generation was right after I got out of high school and college, so I never really jumped on the like, Yeah, but I mean, YouTube's huge. Like, it's. Oh, yeah, I use, I use YouTube for other things, but I don't, I don't subscribe to. Uh, like, to, like, tutorials or something? Learning? Okay. okay. You never heard of FoosyTube? Wow. Yeah, he's, the, he's like one of the only Middle Eastern prank YouTubers. You never heard of Vitali? I, I know a Vitali, but probably not the same one you know. Wow. That's uh, pretty crazy. What up? How you doing? Oh, bless. How about yourself? Same the same. All right. Well, you have a good one. Thank you. You as well. Yep. Stay in Minneapolis. Yep. Thanks.